Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here today to do a flip through of my first uh, Halloween album and uh, I've been asked to show uh, how I scrap the pictures of the holidays and Halloween is around the corner. So this is the first album I made and uh, we didn't have a digital camera at the time we took these pictures. They are from 2001 on and uh, the pictures were really bad, the camera was really bad but I wanted to showcase them and um, I didn't want to dedicate much time to pictures that are not good but I want to have the the souvenir. <laughs> and um, I used the project lifestyle of uh, scrapbooking for these pictures. I bought the page protectors with the pockets because I didn't have at that time the tool I have now that is the fuse which I strongly recommend if you want to do the project lifestyle scrapbooking. So I bought the protectors. They have a problem of course one side and the other side require the same kind of uh, design you can place one uh, landscape picture in one side and a uh, portrait picture in the other side. But you can manage and go around that with some tricks. First of all, I will tell you which are the uh, cards that I didn't print. If I don't say anything, the card was printed by me. That saved me tons of money and gave me the chance of changing the size, resizing them. For example, this was a very much smaller card and I resized them and made it square. It was a rectangular one. So I always insist in people please scan everything and then print things at home. The other thing that helps a lot with the project lifestyle is stickers. Because if you don't have <coughs> sorry, the cards or don't want to invest in them and can't invest in them, you just use a piece of scrapbooking paper, add a sticker, this is a sticker and this is another sticker. So you can see here I use a scrap of paper and it had this kind of label printed, so I added the number, I added this sticker and I have a journaling card project lifestyle without spending money on them. Here you have another page. You see here also is a, a scrap of paper that I added this uh, lace kind of washi tape and this little stickers to it. All, all of them. And uh, you can embellish your pages. For example, this is a, another piece of scrapbooking paper. I added some washi tape. In, in fact, this is fabric, but we all call them washi tape anyways. You can add stickers to the pictures also to make them look kind of more fancy. Here you can do some journaling also. Sorry, I'll be moving from one side to the other, the, the album, but I don't have a, enough room to show it on the screen. You see I added a corner here to this picture, another piece of scrapbooking paper, I added stickers to it. More and more. Let me see. This is is not printed by me. In this page, the only the card that is not printed by me is this one. I have this one, the original. All printed by me, stickers. And I'm going to do a flip through. I'm going out of frame, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it by myself and I don't have my daughter to help me. 
I'm doing it by myself and as I always say, she's a professional, not me, sorry. <laughs> Another one. In this case, the borders of the letters and the little ghost were very, very blurred. So I went around them with the marker, then I did the, the little strips there, or straps. I hope you can look and see how many of these are made with my computer. Well, this is a picture. I added that sticker. This is a piece of scrapbooking paper that had the label printed on. I added the 3D... Sorry, I was out of frame. The 3D bat here. Same here. If you don't have a picture of the size of the pocket and you don't want to reprint it, you have this one, like in this case it was smaller, you just place it on another piece of paper, as matting paper, I added washi tape at the bottom and it fit. Here the same case, I had this small picture, so I added a matting paper and some stickers and problem solved. In this case, in this pocket, I have two pictures. The pocket was portrait and I didn't have a portrait picture and I have these two smaller uh, landscape pictures. So I added them and again I could use the pocket. I added this pocket with pictures because I take pictures of everyone in the street with costumes and then I'm not going to make a page with each, with each picture, sorry. So I made this pocket with a clip and I added to a card that I printed myself. And then I can have the, the pictures in one pocket. On the other side of the pocket I just added a card and I adhere everything, so if you remove the pocket, you will remove this card also because I don't want things to, one goes out, the other doesn't and then you can have to reinsert them and it's a mess. Again, more examples of smaller pictures. Like here and here. In this case, sometimes you have, uh, I think this is, this is the same case. You have a um, protector that has not the divisions you need. So, what I did, I just used a piece of scrapbooking paper, I added the pictures and this card and some embellishments, and I used just one large pocket for the two pictures and the card. And on the other side, it was the back side, it was a double sided paper, so I use it with these pictures, a border and stickers. That's a very, very easy way to use the protectors that don't have the divisions you need. More pictures. I'm going to flip over faster to show you another way to add more pictures. Here this is another envelope with pictures. You can remove the envelope here. And again on the other side I added two pictures. They are adhere to the envelope. Here, no, nothing. well this is another example. This is a pocket that is for one large um, portrait picture. I use it with one picture and one journal and tag. I adhere them together. First I, I place a little bit of scotch tape then I add these two pieces and then I add the picture and the other 
card in the back in the same way. So that's a way to go around with the problem with the pockets. I think this is the same case, yes. You see? Okay. I don't know if there is anything else that I can tell. Yes, there's another pocket here with more pictures. I made this pocket with a little piece of uh, scrapbooking paper. It was double-sided. I used staples on the borders and I added this sticker on the flap, inside of the flap, and some washi tape and a lot of pictures of people in costumes on the streets. Oh, they are upside down. Well, not anymore. <laughs> so, and I placed the pocket inside the envelope, sorry, inside the pocket with the flap on top, outside of the pocket. So it's easier for people to remove the pictures. And uh, I think that's it. You see, here I used um, uh, that kind of uh, net that come with uh, when you buy sometimes onions, sometimes lemons and they come in white, orange, I have yellow ones, and I keep them. Uh, the white ones are great for beach theme pages. And I kept this one, and it's orange, so I added these three ribbons in Halloween colors, and I made this page. I think this is a regular page protector, yes it is. Um, and uh, I distressed the borders, I wanted this kind of crazy look and I made without pockets I made a project life kind of page and I marked the divisions with um, some lines this is a stamp that you buy I will leave the the link below in the is you roll if you watch my video where I show you the tools I can't live without, you can see it there. So you can go back and watch it there. Otherwise it's going to be the link is going to be in the description box. And I added these tiny tiny buttons that I bought from China. And that's it. I have with it that's another alternative. If you want to make a project life page without sorry for the glare. Without having <coughs> to buy the um, page protectors with the divisions <coughs> sorry you can use a regular one use a page of scrapbooking paper and place the pictures with a separation in between or you can make them touching to one, one with the other it's up to you I prefer to have a separation as if it were the, the division and you have a project live page this is the other side. As you can see, it looks even more like a Project Life page. And um, this is it. Next time I'm going to show you the other album, Halloween album, that is a work in progress at this moment, where I have regular scrapbook, regular style scrapbooking pages. And um, that's a different uh, idea. But I wanted to do this now because I've been asked for this. Thank you so much. I love when you leave me messages and you're always so nice. Don't forget that I have a giveaway coming up when I get to 1000 subscribers and uh, please help me with that and you can participate in the giveaway. It is going to be um, a box of about um, the Retail price is going to be about $50 for the items that are going to be included. So go out and subscribe, or if you're already subscribed, please tell others. And please give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.